We begin by opening the JBL Synthesis Adaptive Room Correction and Optimization System. The software will automatically find any attached hats, measurement boxes, and JBL Synthesis digital EQs and set up the system for the proper software files. The first step is for the software to read whatever settings are inside the SDEC. This gives you an opportunity to save these settings before continuing with calibration. The next step is to tell the system what speakers are included in this particular installation. This includes if the front speakers are behind any type of screen or material. For the speaker test, there are two steps. Number one is to turn on the internal noise of the processor to make sure that the speakers are playing and that they are connected properly. The second test includes using the polarity checker included inside the calibration kit. Should any speaker be found to be connected incorrectly or out of phase, clicking the invert button will reverse the polarity and fix the speaker. You can selectively mute speakers if you're having trouble getting a good reading from the polarity checker or you want to listen to one specific speaker. For processor setup, you should turn off any base treble controls, any delay settings or distance calculations, any EQ or tone controls of any kind and set all the sync delays to zero. For microphone calibration, place all the microphones together and facing the center channel with nothing between the center channel and the microphones. The system will generate a series of tones to calibrate the microphones internally so that these microphones become matched sets of microphones. After microphone calibration is complete, place the microphones in the seating area according to the instructions in the calibration operator manual. Once microphone calibration is complete, we can continue to the first speaker to be calibrated. We always begin with the subwoofer. All the channels will have a similar look and feel. You'll have a before as well as an after measurement overlaid on top of a target curve. Additionally, we can see the filters that are entered at the bottom of the screen. And once more than one channel has been calibrated, we can overlay other channels on top of this calibrated channel. To begin, we simply press calibrate. Once the subwoofer is complete, we can see in the dark line the measurement curve after all 
corrective EQ has been applied. We can see the before curves and the target curve. We click next to go to the next channel, the front left. Again, just like with the subwoofer, we click the calibrate button. And the system will begin the calibration process for this channel. Again, you can see in the dark line is the measured response curve with the filters entered, as well as the before curves overlaid.